Hi there, this is Alvin and welcome to kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I want to share with you how you can actually create your own domain for your podbean.com podcast. And so if you're not familiar with Podbean, it is a service um, that I use to host uh, my podcast and essentially Podbean will give you a, its own URL, its own branded URL meaning that you will have a URL so like previously so you can see now I'm using kickstart.fm but before that it was actually kickstartcommerce.podbean.com now obviously that's a very long domain and so I wanted something short something that was easy for uh, my listeners to be able to um, remember you know when I'm on other podcasts or advertising or just speaking in general um, you know, I can say go to kickstart.fm and then it brings them to this site. So to do that, go ahead and log into your Podbean account. You'll need to select settings uh, from my account. And then once you're in settings, you'll need to go to own domain. And one of the things, um, it is a UI UX flaw by Podbean at this current time, but when you're going through, it leads you to believe that this step one is going to update, you know, once you update your file, and that's not the case. That being said, um, you can see here, uh, so step one is that you'll need to create a C name DNS record for your domain at your domain registrar, which I'll show you here momentarily. Step two is, um, as you can see, here is kickstartcommerce.podbean.com then what I want it to look like is www.kickstart.fm and so originally what I was doing was not including the www. I would enable uh, HTTPS which is basically a free um, SSL cert and save it and I thought I was actually saving it I thought everything was good no it was not and the key thing is you'll want to make sure to include this www dot save it then and make sure you see this update uh, on domain successful um, if you don't see this you will you know you can expect it not to work um, and like I said Podbean doesn't uh, necessarily have the best UI UX on this because even if you were to save it without this www dot it doesn't necessarily give you any sort of indication that it was incomplete that being said once you know what your domain is put that domain there www.kickstart.fm and then you'll need to go and create a CNAME record as step one indicate in your domain um, at your domain register I registered kickstart.fm through GoDaddy and uh, so I'm in the GoDaddy domain manager I go to domains I click the domain it brought me to this page and then we'll scroll all the way to the bottom to select manage DNS once we're on the manage DNS page you can see I've added the C name www and then the uh, the value that pod being provided back here on this page this pbcdn2.podbean.com I added that there in that value saved it and then what's interesting is it'll only work with www.kickstart.fm when that's entered into a browser so what happens when someone enters in just kickstart.fm without the www um, w dot and so what what you'll need to do to overcome that is set up a forwarder that basically the naked domain as it's called when you don't have the www dot in front of it you'll need to set up a forwarder that redirects it to the www dot so that it actually works so that being said that's just how easy it is to set up your own domain setting there in podcast so that when you actually type it in which we'll type it in here kickstart.fm then it brings you to your corresponding uh, podcast page for podbean so with that if you have any questions or comments please leave them below the 
video as well as subscribe to this channel. I produce a weekly video that I drop on every Wednesday. Um, sometimes I'm covering search marketing tips and tricks. Other times it's WordPress tips and tricks. Uh, and even other times it's like digital strategies. So like domain names and how you can use them to grow your business. So that being said, um, please visit kickstartcommerce.com and on the right hand side here, scroll down and sign up for the daily scoop newsletter where I share with you, um, you know, different digital strategies to help grow your business. So with that, we'll see you around. Thanks. And that's all for now.